Now this is an ospi on osteology. Identify the colored area on the bone and mention the attachments on it. Okay, so got it. This marked area is ischial tuberosity, colored area. So ischial tuberosity is the part of this bone, ischium bone, posterior inferiorly. It's a bone, the part of the bone on which we sit, right? It's covered by the largest muscle of the body that is gluteus maximus. So it's not subcutaneous. It's covered by gluteus maximus. Now about attachments. So look here, ischial tuberosity is actually this I am drawing is the posterior view of the right ischial tuberosity. So it's a comma shaped tuberosity with convex outside and concavity inside. And this ischial tuberosity is actually divided by transverse crest into upper and lower segments. The upper segment is again obliquely divided into superlateral inframedial surfaces and the lower portion is divided by vertical reach into outer and inner surface. So you have like four quadrants here. Now about the attachment of muscles. So let me tell you that from the superlateral surface on the ischial tuberosity there is origin of this muscle called semi membranosus right so this muscle is semi membranosus then on the inner surface i mean in inframedially there are actually two muscles that take origin right so this is semitendinosus as well as you will also find is another muscle that takes origin here it's biceps femoris long head got it and on this surface inferior and outer surface there is origin of this muscle it's a hybrid muscle right so this is adductor magnus adductor magnus <laughs> hybrid why because it partly takes origin from ischial tuberosity and partly from the pubic ramus ischial pubic ramus so the pubic head is innervated by obturator nerve and the, and the fibers of it is are obliquely or transverse directed fiber they are inserting in the upper portion of the linea aspera and their action is adduction so ischial fibers you know they will you know descend downwards and will insert in the lower portion of the linea aspera reaching up to the erected tubercle and the nerve supply will be as same for all the you know these muscles and that is tibial component of sciatic nerve. So all these four muscles, they are called hamstrings. And you know, they are called, uh, why they call hamstring? One of the criteria of the hamstring is that all these muscles should take origin from the ischial tuberosity. And they should insert on either of the bones of the leg. And the nerve supply will be by tibial component of sciatic nerve. And the action will be, prime action will be flexion of the knee as well as extension of the hip joint. Now what is left out is this portion here, medial, inframedial surface. This surface is covered by a bursa. This is covered by a bursa. Here you find is a bursa. And this is the portion on which we sit. But it's not subcutaneous because it's covered by gluteus maximus. Okay, so that was about ischial tuberosity.